Hi, Rich Garuba for BowlingBall.com. Let's talk about bowling ball top weight. It's a topic we don't hear or a, 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 something we don't discuss often or we don't read about a great deal, but you'll notice the top weight of a bowling ball is marked on the box when you buy a new bowling ball. And the top weight is a term used to refer to the weight difference measured from the top half to the bottom half of a given bowling ball. And the United States Bowling Congress states that the bowling ball, any ball 10 pounds of weight or more may not have more than three ounces difference between the top half, you know, that's where your fingers and thumb are drilled on the ball, to the bottom half. And uh, though, so in order to conform to three ounces, we have to take into effect that uh, that weight is removed from the ball when you drill the holes into the bowling ball. So if you withdraw, if you with uh, drill three holes in a ball and only say an ounce and a half of total weight or two ounces of weight come out, a bowling ball with five ounces of top weight is not going to make it. It'll, it won't be a legal bowling ball by USB-C standards. So you'd have to drill an additional hole, like a balance hole, to take more total weight uh, in, in, in such an area on the ball to reduce the amount of top weight. So the Pro Shop operator should help you select the ball that you won't have that problem of having too much top weight. Now, a ball used without any uh, holes or indentations uh, may not have more than an ounce difference between any two halves of the ball. So this pertains to bowlers who use one or two hands and prefer not using finger holes for drilling purposes. And I'll bet you thought I wouldn't discuss people who are two-finger bowlers without a thumb or, no, or two-handed bowlers with no holes at all. One ounce in those cases. Now, the top weight imbalance uh, after a ball is drilled with, drifting, uh, with the gripping holes uh, influences the bowling ball motion. So top weight created is created by the core designs developed by the manufacturers, the shapes and designs and the number of pieces that affect the shape, com the composite of the core structure will determine the top weight in a ball after the cover is, is uh, uh, placed around the core in manufacturing process. In modern terminology, top weight really is a compatible measurement based on the RG of a, a bowling ball. That term RG, radius of gyration, uh, we hear frequently. Uh, it, dis, it simply refers to the mass distribution in a given bowling ball. Is it the mass in the center uh, near the top or at the very top edge uh, of the bowling ball? And if most of the mass measured on a dodo scale, the scale used to measure static weights, if that is uh, uh, the weight is near the top, then we have a high RG ball. If it's near the center, we have a low RG ball. Uh, low RG balls tend to rev up faster uh, and arc a little bit more, and high RG balls delay uh, the, the ball getting into its heavy, heaviest rolling pattern uh, and, until it gets down the lane further than a low RG ball would. But essentially, the top weight can be used by the pro shop operator to influence the weight and balance of the ball based on the drilling layout option that you and your pro shop operator select to control the ball motion. If you have any questions about top weight or any decisions to make about choosing a, weight, a layout based on a ball you have in mind you're going to purchase, get with your pro shop professional right away, discuss the strategy from start to finish, make sure your pro shop operator is familiar with your bowling style, knows your other equipment, you know, help you make a determination of selecting the right ball and the best drilling layout the next time you get ready to do so. I hope this helps. Thank you.